All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. But first, I got to give a shout out to everybody that supports me, all of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Hey, listen, man. Before we even get started, I need y'all to let me know who you rocking with. You rocking with Rihanna? Or you rocking with Beyonce? Like the video while you're doing this, too, man. And let me know down in the comments, are you rocking with Rihanna? Or are you rocking with Beyonce? And before you go and make up your mind, man, I need you to go watch this video called Pull It Up featuring Rihanna and Nicole the Pole. For obvious reasons, it's it's Nicole the Pole. Look at the thing that she's doing on this pole, man. Hey, I'm trying to tell you, but I'm trying to tell you. Look, go watch the video. It's a work of art. It's art because, you know, she's dancing and it's on the pole and all that good stuff. Go check out the video, man. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, if that don't change your mind, or if that, you know, I don't want to sway your opinion, but I just want you to be well informed when you go and uh, and you make this decision down in the comments. So even if you got to watch that video and then come back, let me know. But put it down in the comments who you rocking with. And like the doggone video. And let's get right on to the news, man. Check it out. The Kobe 5 Proto Chaos My Player Nation Challenge starts now. Now, this challenge is something that I actually went and looked at. It said December the 26th, but it says between December 26th and January the 1st. That's the offer window. So you can win the Kobe 5 Proto Chaos in the My Player Challenge, My Player Nation Challenge. All you got to do, go in, beat the Kobe Christmas Day high of 42 points, win your game, and then you can earn the digital, the digital version, and then you can unlock access to buy the, uh, the limited edition pair in real life. I don't know how much them joints cost. Y'all probably do, but these are the shoes. Let me know down in the comments how much them joints probably cost, man. I I, I don't know what it was like a buck 40 or something like that. Also, man, look, I want to start trying to expand the content a little bit. I want to probably go into, um, do like a no money spent team or that's like a regular team of my team. I want to try my team out and get slapped. I also want to do some, um, do some of the, um, my career stuff. So let me know if y'all want to see any of that. If y'all even want to see any of that. I don't know if y'all do or not. But hey, it is what it is. Up next, man, we've got, we got, um, first of all, you know, sub and all that good stuff. Second of all, get pumped for these two events today. So more or less, we got the big top challenge that should be going on right now. And then we got the Beats by Dre at night at 9 p.m. regional time. These Both of these will be up. They actually put some stuff on their Facebook page and all of that good stuff. But more or less... More or less, this is everything about it. This is the whole Winter Madness, uh, the whole Winter Madness schedule, and we're down to the end right here. So we got the big, top, the big top challenge where it says in ring one, beat the mascots three times in a game of trampoline ball. Uh, the second one it says meet the three minimum score requirements for for mini ball, mini basketball, and then also you have to beat the mascots three times in house rules. Uh, that's what you got to do and then in order to or what you can probably win 5,000 VC the big top backpack Which my boy big boy IQ already got on and he already out there. He said I don't already won this thing man What are you talking about you get a leg sleeve or arm sleeve or ten times boost if you are like if you are able if you Are able to wear the backpacks? How do y'all feel about them giving away backpacks in these events? Or, or do you not even care because people know which ones are the real backpacks and which ones aren't and uh, and so they you know it really doesn't matter because we know which backpacks to fear and which ones to not also you got beast by dread nights you got the uh you got the three on three courts you got the um the two on two courts you got the dunk off and then you have the down the downtown court where you got to hit from downtown all that we know about beats by dre at night we know about my park after dark that's pretty much what it is uh you got court conqueror tomorrow and then you got what we got on Saturday. We got basketball guys on Sunday. So the, and then you got uh Monday you have what what is this? You got dime. Yes. You got dime time on Monday. And then you got dunk fest on Monday. And then you got ruffles on Tuesday. That's pretty much the complete schedule. Um, like I said, you just go to their Twitter, go to the, go to Facebook, any of that stuff, and then you can see what the complete schedule is. I'll leave a link to it down in the description and all that good stuff. Up next, this one fellow here on Reddit, uh, Poster, I can't see what his name is. Uh, hold on. Poster, what's this? Y-O-I-A-E? It is what it is, man. But he has a message 
for all the people that play 2K. Online defense. If you are playing 2K, stop being a little bitch and play some defense. It's a two-way game. You can't just play offense and let the console do your defense too. I mean, defense to you, de for you. I guess he was trying to say for you. Grow up. Hey, I ain't going to lie to you, my boy. Now, I'm going I'm to I'm talk about that, but it's a two-sided thing, my guy. Look, I get what you're saying. People do need to play defense. Um, it, it's so many times where you got people that on your team, they think they're just a, they, they're the superstar. They're supposed to come down and play play offense, and they're not supposed to play any defense. So they come down, they're scoring their man, and then they got backdoors them to death, or he hits them with the whoop de woo and then shoots a three and right in their face. He does all that stuff, man. That's, that's something that people need to be aware of. This is a two-way game. You got to play offense and you got to play defense, man. If you don't play defense, you're going to lose the game. But that being said, paint defense is atrocious in this game. Why am I 100% smothering people very early, very late, and they're still making it with no problem? I'm 6'11". A 6'1 guard, a 6'5 guard comes in. I'm standing on the baseline. He goes into my chest, slitheries past me, and then does this right here and throws it in. It doesn't matter if you don't jump. If you don't jump in this game, then you're not going to... You're not. My, my interior defense is like 99. If you don't jump in the game, you can't stop people from making layups. That's kind of understandable, and I would go for that. If the hop step wasn't so damn deadly, the hop step completely negates... Any attempt to play defense in this game used properly. Like some people, I know it's gonna be somebody, hey, hey, I know how to defend the hop step. Bitch, you ain't defending that hop step the right way every time. If you defend the hop step the right way every single time without equivocation, you need to be streaming and show everybody else how to do it. Cause I damn sure don't know how to do it. Let me tell you what happens to me. This is what they do. They come in the first time, they hop step. I don't expect that I jump early. Cool, I got on pogo stick. Most of the time I get the block the second time. They jump, they hop step. Okay. The next time I anticipate the hop step, so they hop step, I'm already there, I'm waiting on it. Then they go up, I swat there, I, get this, I, I swat the shot out of there. The third time, they know that I'm anticipating the hop step, so they just go straight up with it. And then the fourth and the fifth time, they might just go straight up with it. The, the, the hop step itself isn't the problem, it's the interior defense that's the problem. The hop step just makes it impossible to know when to jump because they hop step you and then they go on up with it after you jump. Or, like I said, if you're a guard, you got no chance anyway. Everybody took the bait and didn't put on interior defense with their guard. We know. We thought the centers would be able to play defense. We were all wrong. Guards can't even really play defense in there. Uh, like I said, somebody going to say they can stop it every time. Use a damn lie. You, you, can't, you can't really stop it unless you predict it. Unless you predict it and you guess right. You're not stopping it. And it's not real life because I can tell when somebody's gonna hop step in real life and then I just get in front of them a little bit and then when they go up with the real shot, I block it. I'm not saying I never get pump fake, but my goodness, the way that the hop step is in this game, the, if you got a slashing playmaker, that's the most broken build in the game because you can go in, you can dunk on centers if they get there late. You're dunking on if a guard comes over. <laughs> Bro, if a guard comes over, it doesn't even matter if the guard comes over, because he's just going to get dunked on, right? And then if the center gets there late, he's getting dunked on. So if you got the slash and playmaker, that's just how it is. But at the same time, the hop step makes it even worse for people that don't have the slash and playmaker, because they just go up, they hop step, and then once they hop step, they you, you, it's nothing you can really do about it. They hop step, and then like I said, you dead if they know how to hop step properly, especially if they get the big hop step. Oh my God, it's over with. And like I said, I know we're going to have some people say, eh, I know how to defend it right every time. Use a damn lie. You need to be in the 2K league if you know how to defend it right every time. Where you ain't in WR, why nobody know who you are? I don't know. We got pros that can't defend their hop step the right way. I'm sure that there's a right way. The right way to defend it is one person stand, the other person stand with their hands up and jump when the person goes up. But you can't always get in front of them. The hop step is broken, man. And it's not really the hop step because if a center was able to play defense by holding his hand up and, a, and impacting the shot, which you cannot really do. I got Hall of Fame rim protector on there, Hall of Fame intimidator. If I don't jump nine times out of 10, they're making that shot. That's what makes it broken. The hop step itself isn't broken. It's interior defense and layups going in at an all time high being broken if that makes it broken because y'all sat there and complained at the beginning of the year because your trash ass dudes could not 
time layups. Ah, I'm missing layups. I got a slasher. Why am I missing layups? And then Mike said, if I tune it up anymore, then everything's going to go in. Well, that's where we are right now because you garbage dudes. This is why I be saying you can't like when I say complain about things and make your voice heard. But we, but, we, but they have to decipher what, what to look through and what to see people complaining about because this is what you end up with. Now we're in a situation where nobody can miss layups. If you take a shot in the paint, it don't matter how bad you time it. It's going in. That's how they built the game. They told you that's how they built the game in the beginning. If you if you take a shot in the paint, it's gonna go in. Anyway, man, um, one more thing we got for y'all, man. We're gonna cut to this segment. We had the comp game of the night real quick. Let's check that out right now. Let's go. Thanks for that toss, Jay. And last night we had a good series as Alice Goaded Ballers back and Thotty Maserati faced off against Han Nation, who happened to consist of G Sice, Zerg, and Snag God. Everybody cheer him up. Snag God! Snag God! Game one was a complete and utter fade as G Sice would find Zerg in the corner for a corner three as they would win the game 22 to nine. Game two would not be much better as G Sice shows that he's the lead barber and he has his barber license for a reason. He goes to the rack and he puts up an 18 point performance as, as Han Nation wins off of good defense and uh, just some bad shooting all around by Alex Golden. But game three, oh, but game three would not be that easy. In game three, Hunt Nation finds himself behind the eight ball as Thotty Maserati goes to the rim for the alley-oop. G. Seiss has been playing a little bit inconsistent this game, but will he be able to redeem himself? Who knows? G. Seiss throws one of the worst alleys in the history of 2K. Fortunately, Snag God gets the alley, kicks it to Zerg in the corner, who hits the wide open, trades up, splash down. Snag God now tries to save the game. Alice go to the rebound, oh, but it's blocked by Snag God, and now Zerg gets the rebound. What will they do with it? G. Sice will now try to redeem himself as he pulls up, shoots a contested 343%. It's good. How does he hit that? How are you able to hit 43% contested? And it's a white. And now Zerg, without even trying, gets the steal. Kicks it to Snag God, trades up, splash down, and Snag God is the hero as he saves the game. Snag God, and the other team is in consolable. Back to you, Jay. All right, and now that we back, man, hey, we just got one more thing for you guys, man. Check it out. My boy, Mike McFadden. If you have not seen the Mandalorian finale, it's, it was a bittersweet moment because it was, it was, people got, people got, a lot of stuff got destroyed. But the person that did the destroying is one of my favorite actors of all time, Giancarlo Esposito. He been one of my favorite actors ever since he was bugging out in Do the Right Thing, man. I, I, y'all know how he was. He was one of the uh, the Chicken Brothers in in Breaking Bad. Giancarlo, one of my he's one of my he's one of my favorite actors of all time, Giancarlo Esposito. Anyway, and, and on uh, what was it? Uh, what was the other show? Uh, where where, the, where all the power went out, and uh, you had the dude who was the father on Twilight that was in it and he was supposed to be a, a badass and all that stuff like all that stuff man he I, I i've always followed him i love giancarlo esposito so it was a bittersweet moment and all that but mike mcfadden says great finale great actors and actresses they had mean to win in there just for, for a throwaway part bro come on man uh john favreau was in there just for a throwaway part it's so man look great effects great sets great costumes great tone great music great writer great heart and uh, this, I mean, great series. And then you got Baby Yoda. Come on, man. It was all good, man. Ain't nothing better than that, man. Hey, the series was dope. Like I said, it's one of the best, one of the best series I've seen in a while. Some things happened that I really don't agree with, but hey, it is what it is, man. What can I really say? Speaking of Baby Yoda, man, check it out. We got, uh, we got the Baby Yoda. Uh, we got the Baby Yoda joints, man. You can, we got these to where if you, if you DM me on Instagram or Twitter, uh, with, with, with what team you want, I can do it for you. I'll send you an invoice. We'll press it up. We'll get it out to you, uh, ASAP. But we can, we, we can do any team with this. Now I got Shaq working on it. So you'll be able to do any team. Hey, Breezy in the background, holding the chat down. She's coming in right now. She's got hers on. Happy holidays, everybody. I've been under the weather. So she's been sick. But look, this is what we got the Baby Yoda. It's looking like it's holding the Steelers football and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, it is what oh, it is, is it man. Maybe turn the other way. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look at that. Look yeah, at man. Yoda. 
right. Okay. We're gonna have this. Okay. All right. Anyway, so like I said, like I said, if you all, if you want one of them, hit me up, man. Uh, if you want anything really on the shirt, just hit me up. You see your boy busting out these 16 reps of 185. I had at least 10 more with me, but I wanted somebody else to be able to win that contest, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Video already been too long. What, we at 13 minutes? Uh, probably longer than that when I dropped the other joint in. But uh, y'all let me know down in the comments if you like that. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Till next time. I have something else I wanted to show y'all, but I just need y'all to let me know. Rihanna or Beyonce? Damn it, I said Rihanna or Beyonce. Y'all let me know down in the comments. Did you like The Mandalorian? Did you enjoy The Mandalorian? And, um, oh yeah, I know it. Uh, Gian, Gian Carlo Esposito. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. This guy, I got to show y'all this, man. I have to. I got to. I don't think they, I don't think they had it up there, man. They didn't have it up there. They, they, they don't got it. But man, bro, I swear, if you just watch the end of The Mandalorian, what Giancarlo does right at the end, it's, it got me so hyped. I was so hyped. Bro, he had a black. I, I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. I'm gone. I'm gone. Whoo, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. If y'all want me to do a spoiler joint while I'm hyped like this, let me know, man. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.